All right, folks, what we got here is a Numbers Max 72 Monte Carlo. Uh, it's got all the original drivetrain. I uh, posted a video a few days ago, but I took it down because I've got the engine running. I've got everything, the fan shroud, the fan, all this put back. This was removed for whatever reason. And uh, I've got it with somewhere to sit here and run. Uh, although that carb is just one I had sitting on the shelf, it's good enough to run the engine. Uh, the tires are dry rotted, so you're not driving this car on a highway anytime soon. It's been sitting about 15 or 20 years. But what I wanted to show you is the car, how solid this thing is on the outside. And uh, it's been bumped right here one time, but nothing that sandblaster won't take care of. All the lips are good here. Okay, so now that I've showed you some of the good, roof's good, cell panels are good, trunk lid, I wanna show you some of the bad. It needs the four sections that goes, well, that one's thin. You might could get away with this one, but uh, this one for sure this one and that one over there so really the four in my opinion the four sections under the seats fine um the door panels are actually pretty nice you just need the carpet at the bottom uh have the other seat uh 12 bolt rear end the um trunk floor needs to be replaced now if you watch my channel or if you go watch any of my other videos, you'll see that I've done these trunk floors in the past. This is not a very involved uh, job to do. It's relatively pretty good up here. I'm sure it's going to have a few pinholes here and over here, which is pretty common. The three-piece trunk pan goes from here over and overlaps here. And that'll fix the rust in this trunk. The braces are fine. The gas tank may be okay, but as cheap as those are, I would replace it or have it vatted at a radiator shop. I did find a partial build sheet under the uh, back seat. Uh, everything's here, everything's complete. And now I'll crank it up and let you hear it run. Just got it running off the jug. The um, transmission jumps in gear. Uh, car has minimal brakes. Just like I said, it's been sitting for a long time, but didn't take a lot to get this thing running. Uh, before I do anything else to it, I'm gonna ask 7500 the way it sits now. Um, if you're interested, I also got bucket seats and a console stuff that could convert it for extra money. Um, all the air conditioning stuff here, of course, none of that crap's going to work. You know how I feel about factory air. If you watch my channel, um, I prefer vintage air, but if you want the factory air, it's all here. Um, running off the factory distributor. Uh, as far as I know, everything here is probably original minus the carb. Got the right fan shroud. Uh, 402 here and then here is your uh, your U code if you can see it anyway U code in the van and that indicates 402 so sits here I got water in the radiator everything's circulating like it's supposed to so uh, well, let's sit here and run for a second uh, I want to get in the car and uh, show you that it'll jump in gear so and you can see the car attempting to move. I think the brakes are a little... It's 
spinning the tires. Okay, that's good. So tranny's good for sure. Uh, can't see any other real issues with the car other than what I've described. Uh, a little bit here, nothing major. This door uh, where it's shut up so long has got some rust here where the weather stripping went. Uh, a lot of good about this car. Um, it's better than most I've redone here on the channel. Uh, I know that looks bad, but again, if it's got a little bit of rust or it's got this, it's got to be replaced. So, trunk lid's good. Package tray is good. Not all hacked up from aftermarket speakers. I'll give you a quick glance under the car. You can see this car is really solid. Frame's really clean looking. Never was any salt. So anyway, if you're interested, contact me, 864-940-2146. I'm in South Carolina. Again, asking price will be $7,500. The way it sits today without me spending any more money on it. Uh, I don't plan on doing that now that I got it running, but you never know. Uh, as time goes by, if I don't sell it, I may do some more work to it. But all right hope you enjoyed the video like share comment if you know anybody looking for a good project car send them my way thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next time yeah and subscribe see you next time